Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Death Stranding. If you're having fun with this playthrough, go ahead and press those like and subscribe buttons. And now let's continue. Second, all this is over. I'm gonna take you wherever you wanna go. Alright, so now we just have to head for the harbor after I do some maintenance here. Alright, and now we are ready to go and let's see what happens once we go outside. Because the guys heard the rain coming and uh, the other guy told us the rain never comes, but I can clearly see it raining. So what is happening here? President dead and burned. Oh, and now the girl's been chosen to take mommy's place. Well, that won't wash. She's not cut out for politics, is she? Oh, but don't worry. I'll find her. And I'll keep her real safe. <laughs> You see, I've come to understand it. Oh, there's so much you people don't know. The girl, for instance. She's not like you or me. Dooms ain't her thing. And she's more into destruction on a worldwide scale. An extinction entity. It's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Now you, you're no bridge. To me, I'm bound to all of it. This world, that world, and our sweet little angel of death. Ha <laughs> 
take this one itty bitty void out to blow us all to kingdom come. So how about it? Aren't you getting tired of the grind? Isn't this what you've been waiting for this whole time? A game over. And now we are going to have to fight that thing. So, let's get quickly to high ground. Heads up, Sam. According to our damage assessments, it would only take a single void out to total Port Knox City. A single VT allowed to make contact with a civilian would be enough. We can't let that happen. You've got to deal with that VT right now. All right, now though, you can see he defends himself. I gotta make my way quickly over to the next building before he gets to me <laughs> and eats me, essentially. Now, he's not that fast. It's not a very tough game by any stretch of the imagination, but stick to the rules and you will not get eaten. So remember, do not only collect Hamad grenades, collect blood bags as well. Alright, now this building is gone. Let's keep going. Alright, next hematic grenade pack. Fights are especially hard in this difficulty. Like these boss battles, that's where you feel the difficulty level. Now let's get away from him. Now another hematic grenade, but we still do not get a lot of blood bags. It's kind of concerning to me right now. All right, let's get high ground. Is that a blood bag over there? That's a blood bag over there, okay. Oh man, he's too close. And for some reason, the game doesn't let me deal with him. Oh man, go away, go away. <laughs> I'm trying to circle around him. Get to that blood bag. Because I desperately need that. Yeah, throw me that, please. Alright, let's go for the other blood bag as well. Oh, man. <laughs> this is... Come on, get it. Okay, let's get the next hematic grenade pack. Oh, man, that blood bag is protected. I cannot get to it now. Quickly go up the building. Come on, Sam. Man, we are running out of hematic grenades fast here, aren't we? <laughs> All right, now let's keep scanning, looking for items. Oh, this is not looking good, though. Oh, blood bags. Okay, let's go for that. Oh, man. Too close, too close. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. See, he cut me off. Not some of the things that you can expect to happen in boss fights. All right, let's try and climb the side of this building so we can go faster. See, now you can travel a bit faster. Okay, there's a blood bug there. Okay, what is he giving me? That's a hematic grenade. I don't want anything else. Thank you. I need to go grab a blood bag. Okay, that is a blood bag. Where is my... 
Where is this monster? Well, let's go down. Come on. Okay, and now... Where is he? I don't see him. He's gonna pop up suddenly and surprise me. <laughs> I know that. Oh, come on. Man, the buildings. Okay, where are you now? Automatic grenades. You know what? Something you should always do. Pause. Go for the cargo and everything that's used, drop it. Because it's weighing you down. Alright, so now, where is that guy? Oh man, <laughs> buildings keep disappearing. Now, can I see him? Interestingly enough, he is hiding. You know what, maybe I can use that downtime to go grab some blood bags and hematic grenades and whatnot. Until he decides to show himself. Oh, there he is. Okay, give me that blood bag. Definitely need that. Oh, man, I need to get away from him, though. Okay, let's keep going. Over here, maybe. Oh, am I trapped? Come on up the building. Nice. Now, where is he, though? Okay, throw me that. Thanks. Oh, nah, EX grenade. No, I do not want that. Thanks. Oh, Jesus. He's climbing? I actually didn't know he could do that. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm gonna run out of buildings <laughs> this way. Okay, let's get up that building. <laughs> Quick. to keep moving because once this building sinks oh come on you can do this yeah see I don't want the EX grenade where is he oh man that's a difficult spot I'm in let's keep going towards that blood bag is he gonna appear suddenly now <laughs> let's go for that building Oh man, you can see how how prolonged these boss fights are in this hard difficulty. Okay, there you are. Alright, let's switch to the next one. We can actually do some damage here. Let's see. Yeah, he's in the red zone now. Let's keep going. Okay, next. Hematic grenade pack. Let's go. He's gone. Oh, and he sinks my building. Come on, Sam. Quickly. No. Oh, some, something's blocking me. Okay, we are cornered. If he comes at me now, we're done. Because this is an artificial wall. Oh, man. Maybe I can just finish him off now. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was the most epic showdown ever. He was about to kill me. He would have killed me. And I just managed to uh, throw a grenade in his face. <laughs> oh, maybe the most epic boss fight I've had. <laughs> Oh wow, the aftermath of the battle. Look at this battlefield. <laughs> Incredible. 
Simply incredible. For the first time in history, a human being has defeated a BT. Were you not a repatriate? I doubt it would have been possible. Not only does contact with your fluids pose no risk of triggering a void out, but in much the same way as your car is rejected by the beach, your blood can be used to expel BTs from our world and return them to the other side. You've given us hope, Sam. Perhaps we may yet be saved. Be proud, my friend. Emily's still waiting for you in the west. Head to your boat. It's ready. Get those supplies to Lake Knot City. We're just getting started. Very nice. So, that's the first actual boss battle in this game. And uh, I have to say, this is actually my first boss battle in the very hard difficulty. It is nothing, nothing like the uh, easy difficulty, like the normal one. Bosses in this difficulty take much longer to kill. So you have to be very strategic. In my first playthrough, in the normal playthrough, I didn't even have to uh, pick up any blood bags or hematic grenades. In this time, you saw, I actually had to rely on the, my environment quite a lot, right? So, <laughs> yeah. In any case, let's go and uh, repair our equipment, and then we'll go to the harbor and uh, travel on to the next chapter of this game. We are done with the first region of this game now. Oh, before we go though, uh, we did collect the memory chip, if you remember, when we were coming here. So let me show you what happens. When you go in any terminal, you can go to make delivery and share memory chip data, and this happens. What a wonderful gift. Thank you, Sam. Well, actually, in this case, not much happened, but usually uh, an NPC that is quite thankful you retrieved his memories are gonna t is going to tell you all, all about them. Uh, in this case, we got a memory chip for Hartmann, who is not exactly the talkative uh, kind of guy. <laughs> so we actually do not get any dialogue here, interestingly. Thank you for your contribution. All right, so I'm done. Let's go to the harbor and on to the next chapter of our adventure. So once you cross this point, mind you, if you uh, are interested in playing this game yourself, once you cross this point, you will not be returning for a while. Gonna catch a ride on that boat, Sam? Before you do, be aware that you'll have to leave behind any cargo you haven't gotten around to delivering. It'd be a shame to abandon something important, though, especially if you were close to finishing a run. My advice, put that stuff in your private locker in Port Knot City. Or, if you're feeling responsible, you could just delay your boat trip until you've tied up loose ends. It's your call. Alright, so essentially she told us what I'm telling you. If you want to finish something, do it before you cross this point of uh, no return, so to speak. through then I don't break that easy name notwithstanding you saw that asshole too right Higgs he's the leader of a separatist group seemed to me like he was controlling that BT that's level 7 for you higher maybe seems like you know a lot about him used to work together guess you could say we had a contract you did business with terrorists whoever pays huh he wasn't like that back then. So what's your angle? You want to save the world or you want to fuck it all up like him? I wish I... 
I just wish things were different, all right? Here's all right. Don't worry, she still floats. Come on, we're the only cargo left. And so starts episode three, Fragile. We should get there tomorrow. I told you before, Sam. The past just won't let go. Listen, I have something to ask of you. It has to do with that asshole, Higgs. And that concludes this episode of Death Stranding. If you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate you hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Alright guys, see you next time.